Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to build a variable high power resistor by using some electrolyte buff. So that thing that you can see here, that's the actual resistor. And the working principle is pretty simple. You have two electrodes and between those two electrodes there is an electrolyte. And if you increase the space between the two um, electrodes, there is more resistance. If you decrease the space, so if you make it smaller, there is less resistance. So you can imagine here in that tube, that's the outer electrode, and within that tube there is another plastic tube, that's basically the, an insulator, and there is a kind of stamp in the middle of the plastic tube, and this stamp is is variable so I can um, I can uh, get it more down and get it more up and if it's fully down then there is a very low resistance and if it's fully up then there is a very high resistance so I'm going to demonstrate this now um, I will use this hot air gun as a demonstration and basically the, the hot air gun is just um, in series with the power line and this here acts as a resistor for the hot air gun. So now we are fully out. That means we are having a pretty high resistance. I'm going to, to turn on now and you can see and, and hear actually here that the hot air gun is just um, running on a very low throttle so now I'm going to, to start lowering the stamp and as I do it you can hear that the hot air gun starting to make more noise so respectively it gets more power That's about half power now. We are approaching the maximum. So now that's the maximum power, now the two plates have hit. And here we have the schematic of the um, variable high power resistor. It is made out of stainless steel. The electrolyte is made out of sodium hydroxide. I think I used uh, about 10% in solution. And the containment of the, of the cell here it's at the same time one side of the resistor and here this uh, threading rod is the other side of the resistor and the, um, the position of the threading rod is variable so if I turn it in uh, I lower the distance to the bottom of the cell and if I turn it out I increase the distance to the bottom of the cell and the distance between this point and this point um, so between the stamp and the bottom of the cell represents the resistance a high distance means high resistance a low distance means low resistance and uh, this stuff here is an insulator same as this stuff here this is just a pvc tube um, it's also an insulator because otherwise the cell um, would not work as it works 